and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. We're going to do something a little bit different for you this morning. We have done it previously, but we're going to do a double header first thing. So first of all, I'm going to go over this very nice truck with you and immediately following me, CJ is going to talk about the nicest show cattle trailer on the market today. So with that being said, I'd like to introduce you to a brand new Freightliner M2106. This is stock number 5N191490. The empty weight on this truck is 13,525 pounds with a GVWR of 19,500. So today, let's start in the rear. If we could kind of zoom in on how the, this trailer is hooked up today. And I realize the safety chains aren't on, we just simply drove it across the lot. But the truck comes with the gooseneck ball already. Very simple to hook up. Uh, I used the backup camera when backing it up. The trailer has air suspension. Well, there's a dump valve switch in there. So I pressed that, that lowered the truck and very easily backed right up to the trailer. Right here is where the lights are hooked up. Now this, is the Voyager system for the backup camera. And you can actually hook up to three more cameras to it. So when you're driving, if you wanted to put a camera in this in the trailer, you can see what's going on uh, when you're driving as well. As for the truck, this is an aluminum bed. As compared, compared to the competition that uses steel, this is aluminum. So 10 years from now, it's gonna look very similar to what it does right now. Underneath this plate is the hitch for a bumper pull trailer if we need to go that route. It also has a seven pin hookup under there, right? Right, there's a seven, you can hook up the a seven pin lights right there. Now, safety is the number one concern when putting these trucks together. That's why we built them, that's how it's designed. And one thing that uh, the Summit Hauler conversion does differently is we have 800 pounds right above the rear axle. So obviously this truck is front heavy. So by putting more weight on the rear end, that helps us uh, with tread as we get into mud. And it also helps if we find that we're driving in a, in a rainstorm, hydroplaning. So that's obviously a safety. We're not gonna fishtail due to that weight when we're driving the truck empty. The top is all rhino lined. The Summit Hauler conversion has the, large, the most storage capacity of any conversion on the market. As we take a look at the front one, you'll see a lot of room in there. In addition, there is a hookup for an air hose. As we take a look at the back seat, just like most haulers, this back seat makes down into a bed by simply pushing that button, which does meet DOT regulations for a bed. And to put it back up, just like that. Right here, is the def tank, which holds six gallons. Recent research is showing that we're getting between three and 400 miles per one gallon of def. It comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks. Uh, even though they are connected as the truck is sitting here, it balances out. But when you go to fuel up the truck, you will need to do the tanks independently. Right here is our block heater for the winter months. It is all California certified clean. Every new truck that we put on the market. As we take a look at the driver's seat, here, right here is where we start the truck. They put that in so we can do it from the ground. But when you start it, only turn it about halfway and let those gauges go all the way over and all the way back. If we get impatient and start the truck too early, 
there's a chance that it will throw a code that simply doesn't exist. Right here is the pedal to adjust the steering wheel. As we look at the seat itself, this raises and lowers it. It is air ride, so that raises and lowers your seat. This is for hot or cooled seats. In addition, this is the lumbar system. So as you can tell, there is a lot of air going through this truck. In addition, the brakes are all air. Now I realize a lot of people that are in the market for a truck like this are also comparing us to pickups as well. And I'm the first one to admit, you know, those pickups can pull a lot these days. But my question is, is what's going to stop you? Once you get a Cimarron trailer like we have hooked up with five or six head of show heifers in it pushing you, and you go to stop, what's going to do it? Well, that those pickups are going to have a harder time. And if you look at longevity and things like that of the brakes themselves, obviously this has an advantage. But the main advantage it has over a pickup is the air brakes compared to hydraulic. So if we're driving and we get a, a leak in the air lines, there's an unlimited supply of air. So we can simply keep pressing that air through it. Well, let's compare that to a hydraulic brake. We get a leak in a hydraulic line, that's gonna to continue to leak until we replenish the fluid. So if it gets bad enough and you go to brake, it will reduce it all the way to the extreme as there is no brake at all. So that's the main advantage that this truck has over a pickup truck. Now, in terms of the tires, these are 255, 80, R22.5. The Summit Hauler conversion, and here's what I'm gonna talk about right here, comes with tire balancers. Basically, that is this, all right? So there's lots of BBs in there with some hydraulic oil. So as you gain momentum and pick up speed, this balances the entire rotating mass. The rim, the wheel, the tire, all of that. So that does a couple of things for us. Not only does that give us a smoother ride, but it also increases tire wear length by 45%. So obviously the more balanced you are going up and down the road, yet again, that's another safety advantage this has over pickups. Now let's take a look under the hood. That is the Allison 8.9 liter engine. It is cup or the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. Cummins was originally founded in 1919 in Columbus, Indiana, and the Allison Company was established in 1915 in Indianapolis. So obviously two very well-known companies that have been around a long time. So that should make you feel more secure when buying this product that you're getting something that's been around for quite a while. In addition, here's where we would check the oil. Everything you see in yellow is something that you and I can check. So the oil there and straight across is where we would check the antifreeze fluid. So let's say we're underneath checking things. And a gust of wind comes up. That hood's gonna stop, yet another safety feature. The only way that hood comes down is if we manually force it down. So since we are at the front of the truck, let's take a closer look. The Summit Hauler comes with a very unique grill. It really dresses the truck up. In addition, the bumper is in three parts, the two on the end and the middle. So the logic for that is if we get in an accident and put a dent right here, we don't have to replace the whole thing. We simply replace this section here. As we come around to this side, we'll take a look on the passenger seat. The big thing to notice is just how much space is available in this truck. I mean, I realize it looks big, but that's another safety advantage. Where we're up off the ground, we can see things 
coming at us and from side to side because we're up and above the traffic approaching us and going around us. This is the other fuel tank right here. If you take another look in the back seat, we can get a really good shot of the DVD player from here. Now since the truck is brand new, it does come with warranties. So you get two years up to 250,000 miles on the engine and I believe it's two years unlimited miles on the transmission which it's an Allison transmission we really aren't going to have any problems here's another shot on the front storage component as you can see there's nothing in between the first and the second one so you can really put a lot in there when making a large purchase like this Longevity is going to be an issue. We're going to purchase something that's really going to last a long time. And with that being said, I brought a couple of U-joints for us. This is the U-joint for this truck. This connects the drive shaft to the rear end. So all the torque and all the power goes through this. This is the same thing for a GMC 1-ton 3500. So let's compare them side by side. So when we speak about longevity, what's going to last longer, this one or this one? Well, 200,000 miles from now, I'd bet on that one. So with that being said, uh, if you have any other questions about this truck or any other trucks on the lot, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Larry Vickers. I can be reached at 970-370-4067 or the work number is 303-684-3404 or feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in and again, CJ's coming up right after me. Have a great day.